Konnichiwa, I mean, this is Jesus Kuhn, you're watching Pokecast. Today's Game Boy game is the legendary Yoshi game. My personal favorite puzzle game that I have owned on my Game Boy. I'm just going to make sure I say that because I know I haven't actually checked my top 10 puzzle games to see if this is the one that I actually made number one. But it's just one of those that when I owned my Game Boy games, puzzle based ones, this was probably the number one I played. I do also play this frequently on my 3DS, had the NES version on that one. And even though I had it on my Game Boy, I also had the NES version because it was just that awesome to have both versions. Okay, so this is Yoshi. That is what it's called in the US. In Europe it's known as Mario and Yoshi, which is actually the original version I got, believe it or not. And in Japan it's called Yoshi no Tamago. This was released in uh, 1991, Japan first, then the US and Europe got it in 1992. And here's why this game is awesome. It was developed by Game Freak, and then released by Nintendo. So let's sh show off this amazing game. Yeah! This song is so catchy, it gets stuck in your head. Do 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 I'm waiting for somebody from OC Remix to actually do this particular song. No one's done Yoshi yet. Okay. So basically the premise is that you're Mario. And you got to combine two of these guys to pop them. Um, you can make eggs then that you give to Yoshi. And that's the next thing to do. You got to do... Um, that's basically what you gotta do. And it gets a lot of fun. Let's see if I can get a large egg today. Okay. Now, this is as high as you're allowed to go. And this is where it starts getting very dangerous because you got to watch your top screen for you don't kill yourself. All of course, all of the, uh, Peoples are actually from uh, Mario. Oh, there we go. And right there is the big one. Worth a ton of points. Now let's just play how I like to play. I'm just gonna kill myself because I don't like going up that high, really. Now, after you, you know, this is one thing I do like it shows your score, level, all that. But if you're able to actually get uh, pretty far in the game, it will actually hatch eggs and show different things. If you do okay, you'll get power-ups. If you do exceptionally okay, then you get um, a villains. And some of the villains that show up are not even uh, pieces in the game. So that's one thing I really enjoy about it. I hate having to do that, I really do. There we go. That's gone. That way right there was just a two Yoshi. That's just how the game is. Very, I mean, I think when Game Freak really is like, okay, well, what could we do? What would make an awesome puzzle game that's super easy to learn, but super hard to master? And I think this is definitely one of those that they say completely succeeded at. Because, you know, yeah, it's easy. I'm only on level one. 
er, you know, type thing. But later in the game, you're having to put up with three. Uh, whenever you get a uh, level up, is when you um, will get three things at once. And so, or, <laughs> unfortunately, you'll get more than just that. And that's when, this is the best part. This is when you really start going for the big ones. Unfortunately, the game doesn't like it when you do that. Because then it starts sending them like crazy at you. Well, let's face it, you get more points if you actually can, uh, you know, do the eggs. So, I always try to get as many eggs as I can. I think my record was like 177 or something like that at one point. Definitely a lot of eggs. At least I was getting my vitamins. <laughs> oh, I hate you. So right here is the one that change when a level gets changed. We get multiple of them. I like that they added the animation and that Yoshi starts getting a belly. Because I think, you know, it makes sense and it's a nice little thing that they added on. But, I mean, yeah, just, I mean, just showing off the game just like this, just, it's super easy to learn how to play. But in the later levels when your screen is full to the max, it's just... Ah, that's the only way to describe it, really. Some of you are going to hate me after watching this video because I know the music is recording. <laughs> you guys are like, crap, I have the socks on my head! <laughs> Three days later, crap, I still have the socks on my head! Dude, you gotta check out this video! What? No! It's not the worst. We have. You got the songs on your head. Alright, level four. Um, that's another school run there. I don't know if it'll give me it, so I'll just go ahead and uh, stop here because if I don't, I will continue uh, to play this for like three hours. No joke. This is just one of those games that I just absolutely love. Even sometimes dying in this game in the early levels is a chore. Oh, good. Let me die. Let's see if I actually get a score screen. Yes, score screen right here. Nice. And then, you know, you can keep on going and everything. I got 26 eggs this time. And there's a lot more you can do. Trust me. The challenge is when you get to later levels. Oh, man, it's nightmare mode.
but it's still fun. So yeah, if you guys are looking for an amazing game, this is available on the 3DS. Uh, the NES version is available. I think the Game Boy version is as well. Um, both are good. I think the NES one allows the uh, multiplayer, so I recommend go with the uh, NES version for you can get the multiplayer option because multiplayer is outstanding. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this amazing puzzle game. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara.